Playback functionality that comes with the IEQ CCTV 32-way DVR is extremely impressive. This is a full professional um, DVR and y you'll see it in terms of the features here that wouldn't be available on the lower end or smaller DVRs that we have inside our range, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come along and I'm just going to click on the time search button here. And we, we'll see here we're given the date which is March and the year is 2013. And in terms here of today's date is the 8th. So in this month there's only three days of recorded. It was on Saturday, Wednesday and um, uh, today Friday. So th only those three days are highlighted and they're, they're the only ones that are selectable here. We try to collect on a day that wasn't recorded, it won't let us. So that's extremely informative and it's very neat the way that they actually display that on the screen. If we come back here, the date is actually written as American. So it's March the 6th, 2013 is the one we uh, highlighted here. And then it's saying to us, what time would we like to uh, play back from? Well, we're wondering, what time did we have a recording from? So normally we'd say with a DVR, you'd be jumping in and out at certain times, uh, particularly if it was something that was an uh, event trigger. But in this case here, if you just look here, we have um, several hours across the bottom of the screen here, and we can just see the blocks in which there was recordings. So what we can do is we can just move this up here, and we can start it off the start, middle, wherever like that, on the actual um, playback. And it's just at the time here, 1748, okay? So what we can do here now is we can simply press the play button. And it brings it up here. So it's bringing up about 32 screens here. Now we can set how many screens we want to bring up. Obviously there's a number of cameras here. We might come along and say, oh, we want to bring it up in 25 screens, or possibly eight screens. Um, but, um, so we're just coming along, and obviously that we're only recording in one, so I'm actually just going to come along here and double click on it here. So this is not a particularly action-packed um, um, record sequence we have here, but this is often the case anyway. So if we come along here, we can see we're just playing back at standard um, um, uh, speed, okay? If we came along and there was an incident there that were particularly interesting, simply, simply hit the pause button, and uh, we can pause and see what happens, see the time that is static there. And to uh, restart, we simply hit the play button and it starts playing back again. Now, if we want to go and um, wait for a particular event, we can fast forward at 4 times, 8 times, 16 times, or 32 times static speed, and click it again, it's back to 4 times. And to return it to normal playback speed, it's um, 6. Now, go in reverse, we can do it exactly the opposite 4, 8, 16, 32, hit it again, it's back to 4. And just to play back normally, then it's um, the play button again. If we were in a situation here where we saw an event and what we wanted to do is we wanted to just move forward one frame at a time. When we're recording here, the standard set on this probably be about 12 frames, could be up to 25 I would say. But uh, on this what we're going to do is we'll just hit uh, this button repeatedly. And so we're on 38 seconds. So we've moved up to 39 seconds and hopefully now we've hit it 12 times and move to 40, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then we're up to 40, so we can do it that way. We're back in playback mode, and we just want to play back slowly, we'll say, and wait for a particular event. We can come along here, and if we click this, it's going to play back at half speed, quarter speed, or the eighth speed. If we click it again, it just goes through the loop again. So we need to return to normal speed. Once again, we just hit the play button. So that's quite excellent there. Now, if we wanted to zoom in on a particular part of the screen, what we can do, we can either do this either in a frozen mode, or when we're actually playing back. We'll just come along, and we hit the zoom, so we'll see here, we're zoomed into the top corner here. If we want to move that to a different part of the screen, we just drag down the block here. So we see here, this is the part we want to look at, and if we want to zoom in closer, we just hit the plus button. And we can zoom in closer and closer into that particular um, part of the screen. To move back out, we just hit the minus button. So you can see on the red block here, and it's getting larger. And if we're going to go all the way out, back uh, out from the zoom functionality, we just hit the reverse button. And if we go back here again, we can just go all the way back to um, our time search. We could jump to a different date here, or if we want to, we can close. So you can see there, it's extremely intuitive. Um, it's easy to get to the point where you want to get that. And the functionality in terms of the zoom and how to jump forward and the speed things, it's just absolutely excellent, extremely easy to use. So that's it anyway, an overview uh, of the playback functionality on the IQ CCTV 32-way DVR.